So a California man um, shoots dead over 80 animals in an unexplained bloodbath. That is the horrendous story coming out of uh, California. And this, this guy, Vin, Vincente Joseph Arroyo, 39 years old. Uh, man, his, his victims range from ponies, goats, guinea pigs, chickens, birds, rabbits, ducks, um, and, and other things. It's, it's a crazy, crazy, uh, very bloody story. We're going to talk about that. But please do um, do like, subscribe, share, help me grow this channel, all of those things. Uh, do consider thirdrailify.locals.com. It's a members-only community, so, you know, join that. Help me grow this channel. It's the best way to support me and uh, help, this, help this thing become like a, like a real thing. You know, because once this becomes a job, like a paying gig, you know, helps me support those uh, those autistic kids I've got. So, with that all being said, a man is accused of killing roughly 80 farm animals during a disturbing shooting spree in rural California. Vicente Joseph Aroyo, uh, Aroyo. Why can't everyone just be called Jim or something? Easily pronounceable. Oh my goodness. Uh, 39 years old. Allegedly committed the killings early Tuesday morning over the course of three hours before being found in a crashed car on the property by police. His victims ranged in uh, species from ponies. He killed my little pony. And goats. And guinea pigs. Can you imagine what happens when you shoot a guinea pig? I mean, don't really imagine it. It's very awful. But what ha shot a guinea pig? And he's caught upset, adding how a host of chickens, birds, rabbits, and ducks were killed as well. A miniature horse was also murdered as the bloodbath that caused residents nearby to uh, take shelter still remains unexplained. It did. However, end with the suspect's arrest and multiple long rifles, shotguns, and handguns being found at the scene. Now, a lot of people get mad at me because they don't understand the law when I say this. Like, you're allowed to kill a dog, for example. Don't, unless you have to, for, for no reason. You don't have to have a reason, right? Um, because animals are, are property. It's no different than a lamp. It's no different than, you know, this, this cup of water or this cup of coffee. I got cups. I got lots of cups everywhere. Or, you know, whatever. These headphones, this hat. That's, it, it sucks to say it, but it's true. An animal is just a, prop, a piece of property. You're allowed to destroy your own property. The, um, the law steps in, however is when you cause um, any pain or suffering to that. So Nikki Haley, was it Nikki Haley? No, it was Christy. No, sorry. I get my, my, my allegedly conservative governors or whatever mixed up. She killed a dog or whatever. And everyone's like, oh, you're a dog killer. Yes, true. And she would have broken no laws. She did it painless. You're, you're allowed to do it as long as it's painless. It sucks. I hate it. But that's, that is the law. An illegal assault weapon was also seized from the weapons cache as it was revealed some animals survived but were later euthanized. Police in Prunedale issued a statement detailing Aroyo's arrest. So this guy didn't just easily like kill these animals where, they were, where it was like one action, boom, done, no pain kind of thing, right, where, where it falls into the very slim, very narrow, uh, like, spectrum of the law, it looked like it was just a bloodbath for the sake of a bloodbath, so a lot of pain done, a lot of awfulness done to animals, and it's absolutely gross and detestable. So this is um, a very large police vehicle with many, many police officers with very, very many guns pointed at the suspect. 
right there. The Monterey County Sheriff's Office has arrest, uh, uh, arrested a suspect after he began to randomly fire multiple weapons and killed approximately 80 animals during an approximate three-hour period. The Monterey County Sheriff's Office said on Tuesday, September 3rd, at about 3.25, the uh, Monterey County Sheriff's Office began receiving multiple calls of numerous shots being fired. Aside from this whole situation being just really messed up. Really at 3.25 in the morning, you're going to while out at 3.25 in the morning when people are trying to sleep. Like, good Lord, man. People are getting ready for school, right? You're getting your beauty sleep for school and you're going to pull this shit. Deputies responded to the scene and upon arrival could hear shots continuing to be fired in the area. Shelter in place order was put into effect. The bulletin went on to reveal how various calibers of weapons could be heard being fired during the event, which began in the dead of night as families slept. The firing of hundreds of rounds from the weapon cache followed in the area that was extremely dark and covered in thick vegetation. This made it difficult for de deputies to immediately locate the person or persons responsible for firing the weapon. So these officers probably would have been panicking quite badly, trying to like navigate the situation. Because I mean, if you're in the dead of night, and the, the dead of night, the dead of night, and it's absolute dark, there's only so much you're gonna do with the flashlight, right? Like the the danger level is like jacked right up. Because of this, assistance was requested from a Monterey County SWAT team and a drone was deployed by the Seaside Fire Department and Gonzales Police Department, the sheriff's office said. With use of the drone, the suspect and his crashed vehicle were observed within the property, a vineyard, vineyard, a vineyard, that along the 160,000 block of Avery Lane, cops said. Oh man, look at all these little... Killed animals. That's very sad. I don't. I don't like to see. I don't like to see animals hurt. I, I don't like to see anybody hurt. I don't want. What? Can't we all just get along? I'm at the stage of my life where I just. I want everyone to get along. I don't want there to be like killings and stabbings and shootings and people like diddling other people and like hurting other animals or whatever. I just, I just want people to not be fucking creeps and just be nice to one another. God, it's like, it's like everything is getting worse. The SWAT team proceeded to approach the suspect in an armored vehicle. The photos released by Sheriff's Office showed Arroyo getting on his knees and surrendering. Once the scene was secured and Arroyo was identified, the extent of the killing spree was quickly uncovered. Ugh, man. It killed approximately 80 animals whose bodies littered the property. Along with the assortment of rifles, shotguns, handguns, and spent magazines, some animals survived but were taken to SPCA to be euthanized. Citing, or the, the cops revealed, citing the severity of their injuries. Who the animals had belonged to as of writing remains unknown as does Ario's motive and ties to the property in question. So, as I had said that, you know, it's perfectly fine and legal for, for you to... I mean, fine. It's not fine. Legal. Just because it's legal doesn't make it fine, I suppose. But it's perfectly within a narrow band of legality to kill your property, your animal, as long as there's no pain whatsoever. But it's got to be yours, right? It's a very narrow band of legality. And this guy's out there fucking yeeting other animals that don't belong to him. Like, and not just yeeting them, but in, in a crude and disgusting manner where they then have to be, like, euthanized. If this guy's a piece of garbage. I, I hope he gets, I hope he gets the um, absolute worst life can, can give him. The scene he left behind, however, even left the most seasoned investigators disgusted. Even those from the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals called uh, 
to the horrifying scene. So like absolute professionals who have seen like terrible things done to animals, they get there and they're shocked. They're like, I have never seen this kind of stuff before in my entire life. I am really disgusted. Oh man, that's a, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's a crazy one. So California man shoots dead over 80 animals and unexplained bloodbath. And it's like the weirdest thing about it is that it's unexplained. They don't know why he did it. I don't know. Anyways, uh, like, subscribe, share, all of those things. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace. Peace.